Hello everyone. In my previous Abacus tutorial, I had demonstrated the subtraction borrowing method for the first two situations. Now let's look at the next two or the last two situations. The first sum is for the third situation where we could need to borrow on two different rods. Okay, so let's look at this example here. Okay, so the first number is 278. As usual, in my, as I had shown in the, the previous video, this will be our main calculation area or rods and this will be our borrowed set rods okay or where we will get the final answer negative answer so this will be our calculation part so 278 this being our units place we will start with 278 okay then the first number to be subtracted from this is 296 so we will start with 200 so minus 200 is direct for minus 9 on this rod on the tens place I don't have enough beads so I'll have to borrow on the next left rod. Okay, so the next left rod is hundreds place. I'll borrow one here. As usual, I'll mark on this set. On the hundreds place, I'll mark one bead that I borrowed on the hundreds place. And then I'll do for proceed with the regular subtraction of minus 96. So minus 90 is done with plus 1, minus 10. And minus 6 will be done directly on this units place. Okay, minus 6 is available. Then the next number to be subtracted is minus 142. Okay, so I'll start with the hundreds place. I need to subtract one on this rod and I don't have enough beads here. So for that, I'll have to borrow on the next left rod that is on the thousands place. Okay, I'll borrow on the thousands place here. As usual, I'll mark it on the thousands place in this set. So on this thousands place, I marked that I borrowed one here. And then I'll proceed with the subtraction of 142 on this part. So minus one on hundreds place will be done with plus nine minus 10 minus 4 on the tens place will be done with plus 1 minus 5 that is a small friend formula and minus 2 on the units place can be done directly as we have 2 bits available so I will do, do it directly now coming to the final answer reading the final answer as I had mentioned in the previous video what we do is we subtract this number that we have here from this set ok so 940 940 is to be subtracted from this number so subtracting 940 I'll start with the hundreds place subtracting 9 on this rod I'll do do it with plus 1 minus 10 then coming to the tens place I need to subtract 4 so that will be done with plus 6 minus 10 and units place nothing is to be done as it's just 0 here so the final answer that we read is a negative of 160 160 minus 160 is our final answer okay so following the regular procedure and then subtracting the number that we have here from the number set we had here we got the final negative answer doing nothing else okay now let's come to the next example next uh, situation the final situation where we could need to borrow more than one bead on the same rod okay let's look at this situation the first number is 345 so i'll start with 3 4 5 then subtracting 658 from this i'll start with the hundreds place i don't have enough beads so i'll have to borrow one on the thousands place okay i'll borrow one on the thousands place mark it here and then proceed with subtraction of 658 in the usual fashion so subtracting 6 on the hundreds place I need to add 4 okay add 4 and subtract 10 then for the unit tens place I need to subtract 5 which will be done with plus 5 minus 10 and then on the units place to subtract 8 I'll do it with plus 2 minus 10 okay 658 subtraction is done now coming to the next number subtraction of 824 I'll start with the hundreds place as usual I don't have the required number of beads here so I'll borrow one more on the thousands place so borrowing one more on the thousands place I have to mark again one more on the thousands place here and then proceed with the subtraction as usual so subtracting 8 on the hundreds place I'll do it with plus 2 minus 10 on the tens place it will be done directly as I, ha I have two beads available to subtract and on the units place I need to subtract 4 which will be done with the small friend formula that is plus 1 minus 5 now coming to the final answer what I'll do is I'll subtract this number 863 from this number 
okay i have 2000 here so i'll subtract 863 from this so subtracting 8 from 100's place i'll do it with plus 2 minus 10 to subtract 6 on the 10's place i'll do it with plus 4 minus 10 and to subtract 3 on the units place i'll do it with plus 7 minus 10 so the final answer that i have for this particular sum is minus 1137 okay 1137 negative okay so minus 1137 is our final answer okay i hope this borrowing method is uh, clear with everyone